Dyneema. So classical Greek drama is written in three parts. These three parts are known as the classical unities, the Aristotelian unities, or just simply the three unities. These three classical Aristotelian unities are comprised of action, place, and time. For unity of action, the play should have one stream of action that it follows throughout the entire plot. So no random little subplots or anything, even though I like subplots. Oh my god, it's snowing. For unity of place, the play should only cover one geographical region, and the stage should not attempt to represent different locations. It should basically stick to one set. And the final unity in regard to time, the play should not try to encompass over 24 hours. Now, these three unities were the basic outline for classical Aristotelian Greek tragedy, but they are not all that factored into this genre. Another thing that they had to consider was that of decorum. Decorum basically told playwrights and poets what they could and could not represent physically on the stage. So basically it was like a rating system. Instead of having the option of a G-rated play or an R-rated play, they were all just pretty mainstream. Decorum just leveled everything out to the same degree of appropriateness. Now the meaning of the word decorum all by itself is an observance or requirement of polite society. Sex, boobies. However, decorum in regard to Greek tragedy mostly referred to violence and it mostly referred to what you were allowed to show on stage. You can imply pretty much anything you wanted, but to show it on stage, it had to be decorous. Take, for example, the play Oedipus Rex. Now in the play, the main character gouges his eyes out. That's really not decorous. However, he does all of the gouging off stage. He only comes back on stage implying that he is just gouged his eyeballs out. I don't know how this was done back then. I don't think high fructose corn syrup and red food coloring existed at that period. Either way, the action still slipped under the rating system because the only violence was implied. It left everything to the imagination. Which, to be honest with you, I think is more often than not enough. I mean, the imagination is more powerful than any little latex baggie of red food coloring. Anyway, I hope that this little chat has added some decorum to your lives, and that you'll stop being so freaking inappropriate. Sex, boobies. I mean, I guess to abide by the rules of decorum, you can be inappropriate, it just has to be off-camera or implied. Bye Sarah, bye Lily. Yours truly, Kat.